This is a review for Arrow episode 11, Trust But Verify. First, I want to mention a character in this show, the bad guy on the island. I looked into him a little bit. His name is Eddie Fires, and he's in the DC Comics. In the DC Comics, he is a CIA agent that's trying to track down and kill Shadow who's a Japanese female archer. Now, in the comics, she has a list of people she's trying to kill to avenge her father. And she becomes associated with a green arrow because he kills someone on her list, making her fail her mission to do all the kills herself and disgraces her father's memory. How this will work into the Green Arrow, I don't know, but Shido is a character in episode 14, which is in two weeks. Well, on to the episode. The episode starts off with an uh, armored car robbery that's just really standard. They're all dressed in riot gear and have grenade launchers. And it only ends up only taking Oliver seconds to figure out who the bad guy is. He just happens to be watching video of people that are on his list, and one of them matches up with the robbery. It's really stupid, and they didn't really put too much thought into how he figures it out. But the guy he suspects of being behind it is Diggs, commanding officer from Afghanistan and Dig tries to convince him that the guy can't be a bad guy he knows him and he would never do such a thing well they have a couple conversations and Dig calls it the arrow cave and says they should move it somewhere else and Oliver says he already planned for that and he's bought a new location well, most of that was in the commercial for the episode. But after a confrontation with the bad guy that Dig shows up and stops Oliver from killing him, they have another conversation that adds a little bit of mystery to what really went on in the island. Dig brings up the point that, well, your dad seems to have told you a lot about this list, for a dead guy, you said you found the list off of his dead body. Oliver says in response to that, that he found a letter two years ago from his dad explaining the list. And Diggs says, well, how did you find a letter on the island? Well, I didn't find it on the island. So, apparently... Oliver wasn't on the island for all five years, and he's been lying. I don't think the next 15 minutes has one scene that hasn't been done a hundred times. They're all so cliche. On the island, he sits down right next to the bad guy, but he's dressed up as a guard so no one knows. They, uh, Laurel and Tommy have a conversation that uses the words, Men fences and extend an olive branch one sentence apart from each other. The daughter is, has a misunderstanding with the mom and thinks that mom's cheating with Malcolm Merlin, Tommy's dad. And when Oliver confronts her, she says, no, your dad was a cheater. I'm just trying to hide it from your sister because she loves your dad so much. And everything's just really overdone and has been done hundreds of times. Oliver goes to his computer expert who's named Felicity Smoke. Felicity Smoke was in uh, the Firestorm comics. But goes to her and tells her that it's for that the encryption code's for a scavenger hunt. Last time he told her that the computer he dropped it when it had bullet holes in it. And it's stupid. But uh, she figures out where the next robbery is going to be. So he goes and tries to stop it and catches a grenade from a grenade launcher in a trash can. And when you read tells the story to Dig, he, say, he calls it a rocket launcher instead of a grenade launcher, which I thought was pretty funny. 
But uh, Dig eventually figures out, he's the last person to figure out that the bad guy is his boss. And they're starting to make Dig pretty stupid because he never sees the bad guy coming when everybody knows it from five seconds in. He just can't see it. And they're kind of ruining Dig for me. The sister sees mom with Malcolm at her birthday party and gets all upset, does some drugs called Vertigo, and runs off, drives off actually. And at the end of the episode, she gets arrested, and it's supposed to be a big cliffhanger, but who cares? She's been arrested three times in this show already, and they just pay someone off, and no one cares. So that's kind of a dead storyline to me. Uh, he stops it, Arrow stops the bad guy, and nothing big there. But on the island, we find out that the Chinese guy is evil. He's a bad guy. He's working with fires, and it was all a trap to catch uh, Oliver. Now, the thing that pisses me off is that the bad guy says, Oh, you should have looked at his eyes. I've been saying this for every episode now. These people don't recognize each other. They have Lois Lane complex or something. Every All the bad guys can say, Well, I knew it was you because your eyes are showing, dude. All the good guys... They can't notice eyes. They have eye blindness or something and don't recognize anybody. Well, that's the end of my rant for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will try to do better next time.